Glass City Federal Credit Union continues to improve our services based on your needs. Glass City is just like your bank, but we're better because guess who owns us? You do. Switch your accounts to Glass City Federal Credit Union. We're working for you. Ryan was a freshman um, when I was an assistant, and then so I've been his head coach now for three years uh, to watch him grow. Um, his strengths are definitely his conditioning. Um, he is in great shape, and uh, his other strength would be the way he wrestles. Uh, he's got a funky style. <clears throat> he's very hard to take down. You waste uh, his opponents waste a lot of energy trying to uh, take him down. So that plays in his favor. And <clears throat> he wins a lot of those close matches at the end because of his shape and uh, how you know frustrating the other kid. I know he's only got uh, four losses. Um, two of those were at the uh, Ironman tournament, and two of those were at Medina. Two very, very tough tournaments. Um, since being around here, he won our tournament at Pitt. He uh, he had to he made it to the semis of Mommy Bay, and then had to forfeit out because uh, he was sick the second day and throwing up. So, um, but he's recovered from that and hasn't lost since. And uh, is wrestling tough right now. He. Uh, at our league tournament, just broke the school wins record. So he, um, at that time, he ended up 121, and that's not counting uh, the sectional tournament. So he's right now separating himself from um, the leaderboard on our state, our career wins total. So that's a great accomplishment for him. Uh, he is a great kid. Uh, you'll see when you get you know, when you interviewed him. He's a very intelligent. Um, he's very nice. Um, you know, you can tell by talking to him. Uh, he's a very polite kid, um, but you know, you get him on the wrestling mat, he's gonna go and go. And and you know, I've told a lot of other people this. You know, he's like a python out there. He's just, you know, you can think you're gonna have him in the right hold, and he's gonna strike. And next thing you know, you know, you're down. So, um, you know, his strengths are, you know, he's he's just a good kid. He doesn't, you know, question. He just does what you what he's told and, and does everything. 100%. So, you know, no matter what he chooses to do after high school wrestling, he's going to be successful. I know that. Well, I've been wrestling since the second grade, so pretty much most of my life. Uh, just like, I know the, the competitiveness of the sport. You're out there, uh, just you and somebody else just throwing down, you know? You know, to tell you the truth, uh, when I got in, I was in the second grade. It was, uh, my dad just uh, kind of pulled me over, took me to a, a bitty practice, and then I just, something about it just kind of stuck. Like, I tried out some other sports when I was here, you know, I played baseball and stuff, but something about wrestling it just stuck with me all these years. Well, I like to think that uh, my defense is pretty solid, and that on top and bottom, I like to think I can ride anybody out, and nobody can ride me out. So I need to work on, I think, my offense. My offense is something I've been really pushing this season, trying to stay offensive, get in on people's legs, push the pace a little bit on people. So, because uh, I feel like uh, I'm always in good shape. So if I just stay back, I give other people a chance to rest. So I've been working on trying to push the pace a little bit. I don't really see myself uh, playing sports in college, but I think I'm definitely coming back to help out with the team in the future. Like, wrestle around with these guys and stuff.